What's up guys and welcome to this week's episode. I am Jerome and today we're going to work on this Ficus Benjamina. Um, you may remember this Ficus from a uh, video that I did maybe six months ago. Here is the uh, before just to jog your memory a little bit. So it's safe to say that it did not look anything like this six months ago, right? This tree was on the verge of dying when I got a hold of it. It was in such bad health, it has never been repotted uh, up until I got it. So the first step that I did, I took it out of the uh, old pot, I cleaned out the uh, thick and circling roots, and I potted it into some uh, fresh and good soil. And then I just let it grow and recover since that last video. So I just fertilized it well, I uh, watered it well and I, I uh, sprayed for insecticides and that's what really brought it back to this health. And now that the tree has grown out that much, I know it is safe for me to now go in and defoliate the entire tree and pr proceed with my next step in the training. So usually uh, ficus benjaminas are usually what you see inside your house, like those uh, inside bonza, those inside plants. And they do quite well, but they do also make some spectacular bonsais as well. Now the ficus benjaminas, you have to treat them a little differently than any of your other ficuses. They do not respond to defoliation as well as other ficuses like willow leaf ficus or green mound ficuses, or tiger barks or uh, retusas or whatever have you. Um, this type of tree, you can only defoliate it if it's in really really good health so i call this very good health it's filled with leaves the color is very dark green um so i've defoliated a uh, ficus benjamina maybe once maybe twice on very rare occasions a year and that's it so today what we're going to do is we're going to defoliate the entire tree and we're going to wire and then start to set the structure um, all right, so the way that you defoliate a um, Benjamina ficus is the same as any other ficus. You grab the leaves and you just pull. And you see where that little breakage is? That's exactly what you want to leave. You don't want to cut it back all the way flush to this branch because every tree has die back. So now that I removed these leaves and you see where they bro break, right? So where they break, that's where you want to leave them for die back purposes see that so we're gonna go through the entire tree and just remove all of the leaves like that Defoliated the tree, we started removing a ton of branches. There was a lot of um, branches that were too close together. So if this was the trunk, uh, two branches came out of the exact same spot. So we eliminated one just to keep one branch coming out of each trunk. If you keep two, it'll bulk up and become very ugly at a certain point. And that's probably what happened here at some point, as, as well as over here, I'd imagine. So we we cleaned up the trees and we bent this one over a little bit and we gave this one some new shape as well as this one. And as you can see today, today was not the day where we would go through and uh, you know wire every single branch and make it look very very pretty for today's video. The tree is not quite there yet. So today was uh, the first styling of this tree where we laid down the branch structure and then now we're going to let it grow out again. And then once it looks again like it did at the beginning of this video, we're going to defoliate it again and then wire the next branches in place. And then the next branches and then the next branches. And that's how we're going to de uh, develop this tree very slowly but, you know, very nicely over a long period of time. Um, I really do like the way that it came out. 
Uh, this is obviously the main trunk of the raft. Uh, I'm thinking of keeping this one shorter than the one to the left. I want the one to the left to be a little higher and then have it drape down like that. So if the highest point of the uh, tree was this main trunk, that's almost expected, right? So I think I'm gonna shift over to this tree and have this tree become more like the main main tree here and have this one be a little taller, even though it's not the thickest one, but that's okay. So, all right, so this is pretty much it for today. Um, next week's video, we're gonna do our monthly Q&A. So please make sure to ask a ton of questions and write them below in this video. And I'll catch you guys next time.